Mark, altering him Saturday, a real opportunity to bounce back from Tuesday. What's your thoughts ahead of the game? Yeah, another great opportunity for us um, to, you know, right a lot of wrongs at the moment. Um, you know, we know it's a tough time at the moment. Um, tough times create character and um, will help you develop as, as a team and as a players if you, if you always look to react. And that's what we've got to do. Um, you know, we've got a real honest group here. Um, they are working hard, um, but they've got to understand the roles and responsibilities of executing through the ebb and flow of a 90-minute football game. And um, we've just got to keep searching for that moment just to lift the spirits, uh, lift the mood, and uh, we can change it. We know that we've been on a good run, but unfortunately it's been feast and famine for us, which isn't, isn't good enough. Um, we've got to find a, more consistency. Um, but all we can do is keep working hard and look for that reaction. Um, like I said, the, the, the lags are hungry. Um, they, you know, they want to make this change. Um, they want to shift the momentum. But we've got to know that we've got to execute our roles and responsibilities, second in, second out, and uh, you know, learn from the harsh lessons we're learning at the moment. You touched on the reaction there. What's the reaction been like from Tuesday? Always, always a reaction in training. You know, we're always working hard. We're always searching for solutions. We'll continue to work every second we can. You know, no one's going short off the pitch. That is for sure. Um, but it's about finding your confidence on the pitch. And um, look, we've got, we got to stick together. We've got to pick each other up. And we've got to know what we've got to do and deliver to get those, uh, to search for that feeling in the game and that emotion in the game just to change in our favour. And then we, 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 we can turn it, especially with a, a young group. You know, it, it's just that feeling at the moment we need to search for. And we will find it. it you know, good times will come. You just, just during the tough times, you've got to keep your head, keep working hard, keep believing. Um, and keep working on that on that mentality. Um, you know, confidence is a, is a big thing in football, and uh, it's something's got to be earned. And uh, we've got to go out and earn that confidence at the moment. And on a day where obviously the old shot FC, the old football club, tragically, you know, folded, does it feel like an opportunity with Saturday to open you know, open a new chapter and turn a new leaf and move forwards? Yeah, absolutely. Like we'll look. We look to turn over a new page every single day. We, you know, we don't rest on our laurels, and that's why this, this period has been a tough one for us, because we, we are working hard, we are evaluating, we're analysing, we're being brutal on ourselves. Um, but sometimes it's just that little bit of confidence, that little bit of lack of experience at times on, on the pitch. Um, like I said on Tuesday, people aren't meaning to make these errors or lack of judgement, and it, sometimes it comes in amongst the tension of professional football. And uh, we will come through this and we'll come through it stronger and better. And, um, but at the moment, like I said, we've got to have full focus on, on the next five seconds, not what's going on in the next game or what's gone on before. We have to focus on the here and the now. I just want to touch on some goings and comings in on the pitch as well. Obviously, Corey's signed a new deal and obviously Sam Matthews has returned to Crawley Town. What was the thinking behind both of those? Yeah, look, Sam, Sam Matthews come in for a, for a month to, to boost our numbers where we've had a bit of a hectic schedule. Um, so he's obviously gone back, gone back to Crawley. We wish him well and, and, and thank him. Uh, Corey Jordan is one that's um, come in and I think he's gone from strength to strength. Um, again, still, a, um, you know, he's getting older now, but he's still probably earning his stripes as well. And I think the, the exciting thing about him, I think one, he's done really well and two, there's still a lot more to come and, and, and huge potential there. So, you know, we're looking to build a young, youthful, good squad and grow assets for our club. And I think that's certainly one there for us for, for the now, but also for the future. Obviously, a few people asked about the new striker, but of course, he is away on international duty at the minute. So, just we bear us and bear with us at this moment in time. Yeah, listen, you know, I'm as frustrating as, as they are. We've been uh, been waiting for some time. There's been a few hiccups along the way with this one. And uh, I said, look, we're always actively looking to improve every day on the training pitch and work with the group because they're a good group, they're a young group, they're an honest group. Um, but we're also looking to improve the club in any which way. I'm fully supported by the board and the chairman in doing that. Um, but it's it's difficult, you know. We're not the only one shopping for a, you know, certain attribute or something. And uh, sometimes some of the people who are shopping with us as well have got slightly bigger budgets. Sometimes, so it, it, it remains difficult. So sometimes we are looking youthful or someone who's out of favour. Um, it's not through the lack of trying. We're well aware of where we need to improve and where we want to continue to improve. Um, sometimes trying to get that one across the line is, is always difficult with, with, with the competition. Um, so, look, we're delighted to get one in the building. We have been waiting patiently for him because he was due to come in probably a little bit earlier, but due to an injury. Um, now he's been on international as well. So um, he should hopefully be in next week. Fingers crossed everything goes, goes well there. But 
um, yeah, one, one to be excited by, definitely, to, to come in. But also, um, it's about the here and the now, and it's only about, about Saturday and uh, about the group reacting and responding in the most positive manner. Looking at Altrincham, obviously they're in great form at the minute. It would be you know, a great opportunity for us to bounce back and hopefully get a result. Yeah, look, they're in great form. I was really impressed with them when they come to our place as well. And, and again, they're another team that went on a, on a, found themselves in a sticky spell like we are now. So we, we should use them as inspiration. You know, they, they had a bad run and they got going again. So um, it only takes a moment in the game and a, and a shift um, in our favour. Sometimes it's a decision. Um, sometimes, you know... Little moments in games you're searching to go for you when you're down there, don't, you know, offsides and other situations that we're getting punished for at the moment. You know, the first goal from Torquay was, was someone was offside in, in sight of our goalkeeper and we can only control what we can control and we've got to keep believing that better times are to come, but you've got to fight for them moments and that's what we're willing to do and, we're, we, you know, we can't wait to show that. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.